Hello, welcome back again to NX tutorial. So in this session, I have some a study case. Uh, it's a winch. Okay, so the project is we have a winch, a rope, a scale, and a weight. In here, uh, we need to investigate the minimum torque required to lift this weight. So I'm going to application, going to motion. In here. Okay, I delete the existing one. Now, I create new simulation using dynamics motion. In here, the first thing we should do is to create the link. This is the first link. This is the second link. Third link. This is the fourth link. So we create four links in here. Link number one, I will name it as warm. Link number two, the roll. Number three is the scale. Number four is the weight. Okay. The next thing I should do is to create a joint. So in here I will create revolute joint. I specify the origin and center. Okay, specify the factor. Apply. So this is revolute joint. Also we create the second revolute joint in here. Okay. Okay. Now I have two revolute joint in here. Uh, since this uh, sliding upward due to the rope, I will create a slider joint to replace the uh, the cable. I select the link. I specify the origin at the center. In here, the factor orientation perpendicular. Okay, so this is the slider joint. It's because the NX motion cannot create animation like rope, like this rope. So maybe I will, I will hide this object. Okay. Now, in order to lift the the scale. I'm going to using rack and pinion because rack and pinion have a rotation and also a sliding. Okay, I will use that sliding joint, and the second joint is this one. Okay, the pin and ratio. Okay, I think it's good. Now, also in here we have a pair of gear, warm gear. So it means I'm gonna make gear definition here select the first joint maybe this one the second joint maybe this one let's check it out okay is, is it like this uh maybe maybe not so we can change a little bit the number 30 and we can check the simulation i click ok Click solve. Let's check the animation. Is it correct? Oh, sorry. I forgot to give the torque into this. Yeah. The joint number one. Click solve. Select the animation. Okay, I think it's good. Yep. Okay, it's good. Because you can see in here. And it's rotate and also it's sliding up okay so the initial torque we give in here 2800 is just a, an estimation value created by the NX motion itself so now the next thing we should do is to connect between the scale and the, the weight now inside the scale we have 
spring and also the damper I'm gonna show you how to create spring and damper in here I'm gonna hide the weight in here the link is of course this link the origin I'm gonna take the center the center at the top portion is in here okay and the base link is the weight now I'm gonna show the weight okay in here the origin is at the center okay so that's the spring and we also have a damper uh, action you can select the link specify the origin at the center okay and the base you can use the scale I hide and show the scale now and also the origin is at the center in here click OK so now we have two the damper and also the spring uh, it has its value it also have the I'm sorry it also have the value in here so right now I'm going to show again the weight and for your information the weight is about 170 kilos okay let's check solve this check the animation now as you can see the spring is not strong enough even though the weight is lifted and there's uh, interference between two solid body in here okay so it means I'm gonna give to the contact and the base like okay like solve again check the animation you see it's hit but it destroyed so it means that the spring is not too strong I'm gonna increase maybe about 50 the pilot about 20 click OK and also the damper maybe in here I'm gonna give 5 so let's check the animation now as you can see in here okay so as you can see the scale is moving slightly a bit and then it going to a stable no movement in the scale so it means it already in equilibrium now it's just only the winch lifting the weight after we finish solve this the next thing to do is to investigate how much the torque uh, the minimum requirement torque for example I put 2000 in here I click solve Okay, and then I give animation. Let's check: is it strong enough? Yes, it's is still strong enough. But you can see it's getting slower. And maybe I'm gonna reduce the torque. One thousand newton millimeters. Is it strong enough? Now as you can see it's not strong enough 
it going reverse as you can see okay the object start to fall down as you can see the torque is not strong enough in the beginning in the beginning as you can see it, it rotate on the to the right but finally the weight is going down so in here maybe I gonna put 1500 click solve okay as you can see it is strong but uh, the rotation is very slow so it means that it cannot holding anymore so as you can see in here 1800 still strong enough okay so for the safe uh, value maybe you can give above 1500 okay it's because if you give the value less than 1500 is going to be it cannot not strong enough to lift this weight okay so that's it for the for this tutorial hope gonna be useful for you thank you for watching this video